You have $65 in your pocket. You have to spend $23 on a new hat. How much will you have left? Do you have a strategy for figuring this one out in your head? Feel free to pause and see if you can do it quickly. Well, one way to quickly solve this in your head is to visualize it in a typical subtraction setup. Of course, to do it in our head means we wouldn't be writing it out, but I just need to help you understand what I'm visualizing here. Note that this is similar to our expanded forms, in that this column is our ones column, and this column is our tens column. In this case, there's no borrowing needed, so it's easy to think of 5 minus 3 equals 2 ones, and 6 minus 2 equals 4 tens, or together, 42. Again, there are other ways of doing this problem in your head. Let's try another. 72 minus 36. How could we do this one in our head? Feel free to pause the video and see if you can do it. Again, I'd be inclined to visualize them lined up in the traditional format like this. We see that we have 2 and 6 in the 1s column and 7 and 3 in the 10s column. Unfortunately, we can see right away that the 2 is smaller than the 6, so it's not quite as easy as the previous problem. This one requires some borrowing. Now some people would find it easiest just to visualize the borrowing. 2 becomes 12 and 7 becomes 6, as we borrowed 1 from the 10s. 12 minus 6 equals 6, and 6 minus 3 equals 3. So the final answer is 36. So does that method work for you? For some people, the borrowing is kind of tough to keep straight in their heads. Of course, a little practice and you'd have it, but there are other ways to do this one in our heads. Let's look at another way to visualize it. 72 minus 36. Now you can round the second number up to 40, and keep in mind that you increase the amount being subtracted by 4. Thus, we'll have to add 4 at the end. So, 72 minus 40, well that's easier to visualize. 72 minus 40 is just 32 now, and we have to account for the extra 4 that we subtracted. Thus, we need to add the 4, and 32 plus 4 equals 36. So does this method make sense to you? Again, practice makes perfect. Do the practice problems trying different methods and see how fast you can figure them out.